Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to my home studio, welcome to the 250 minute plus guitar, and welcome to episode four of a three episode series, because I've come to the realization that I am not going to do timed builds like this ever again. I would kind of like to race against the CNC machine at some point, but other than that, other than that, I'm gonna take my time because there's just no point. Burn it. Ha <laughs> ha, yay! Anyway, you've all heard me talking about this before, so let's move on. Here is the, the, the body. We have finished the finish, uh, guitar finishing oil with Renaissance wax or microcrystalline wax. Uh, the neck is done and dusted. Remember, this was one of our uncut kits, and uh, when it was commissioned for me, it was commissioned with pre-level crowned and polished and radius and all of that frets. It was all done, so I don't have to do fret work in this episode. What I do need to do is shielding paint. I haven't touched shielding paint since the Great Guitar Build-Off. Flashbacks. Okay, so I've got to shield it. I've got to install all of the hardware. I've got to do the wiring. I have got to... I've got to play around on the lathe a little bit. And uh, we're gonna have to end up with a played guitar. It's probably gonna take a couple of days, but uh, let's get stuck in. First of all, shielding paint, because uh, I can then leave that to cure while I mess around with other things. Oh yes, one final thing. I don't have a back plate. The guitar was sent with a piece of ash um, that is the correct thickness, etc. I wasn't planning on using it. I thought that I would actually use an ebony something, but I need to make this into a back plate that will then match the finish on the headstock here for fun. So, well, yes. Maybe we'll sort of stop talking and just get on with the build. Okay, so piece of paper. So I'm just gonna line it up with that edge. Just with my finger, I'm making a rough paper template. And you can then, if necessary, with your pencil, just go over it. Snippy, snippy. Okay, that's a little bit bigger than we require, which is perfect. There is no way to match the grain. There is the high. 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 There's no way to match the grain. So I'm going to go with something that's fairly non specific. Power off. Power off. Power off. <laughs> I love these things. Okay. There we go. Shielding paint or not. I can shield the back of the cavity later. So that fits now perfectly. I need to uh, sand the edges down a little bit round everything over, fine sand the front, but that's pretty much pretty much where it needs to be. Now, if you're doing something like this and you already have electronics in there and you don't have a handy hole through which to poke a chunk of uh, tool steel, um, then uh, use a screwdriver, a screw. Use a screw, there we go. Uh, you will have a couple of holes, hopefully, if not, drill them where they need to be, and then put a larger screw than the hole could normally take, and that will bite, and then just pull it up and you're done. Just in case I drip on the guitar. So much easier than copper foil. I have wasted many, 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 many hours shielding a cavity with various iterations of metal tape. And frankly, 
this does the job better in a quarter of the time. Potentially a little bit messier, but you know, swings and roundabouts. At this stage, I have got to admit that I still don't have actual uh, fixings required to bolt this guitar neck to the guitar body. Obviously, that's a custom shape. I don't want to make a... Wow, that looks pretty there. Oh. Um, I don't particularly want to make a neck plate, although I suppose I could. Um, I want to have little washers that are sunk in and you can buy these things. I just don't have them here and I forgot to get some so I'm going to go over to the lathe. I am very 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 lucky to have this. I got it through my other business uh, vintagetoolshop.com and uh, I am at best a very very bad machinist. So yeah tell me what I'm doing wrong in the comments below. I mean you were gonna anyway. Uh, but yeah, this is very simple. I'm making a thick brass washer um, with a, you know, let's, let's, let's do that, let's do that. What I have, I've got three of these, three bolts is more than enough, and I am not going to bother polishing or messing around in any way, shape or form. I'm just gonna insert them and we will be able to bolt the guitar together. Spot on. Got a pretty hefty carve there actually, so we're gonna go about there. Yes, I absolutely should have drilled this prior to applying finish, but uh, well, I wasn't sure what I was doing, so I didn't. If you've got a really nice, sharp quality drill, but you should be okay. Creep up on it. all the way through and I can see where we're at in relation to the bridge line. A little bit of finessing, but I'm quite happy. Yeah, that looks all right. There we go. Let's drill some holes. Okay, so that's marked in the in the neck. Bit of masking tape. That should do. Triple check. Doesn't actually need screws, really. But still, let's put them in anyway. Tradition and all that. Well, I think that it is at this stage that we have a guitar, people. <laughs> I, I can give it away to myself, can't I? 
Yes? No? No? Poop. I've been pondering this control knob issue. One of the rings was smaller and uh, squeezed out a little bit more of the control knob resin. Plastic. Call it what it is. It's plastic. So, uh, and it, it just didn't look quite as good as I'd hoped. I've got it up in the lathe and I'm going to just remove a little bit of the excess material and uh, then see about polishing it in a bit. Let's see if this disintegrates or not. I don't think so. That's good. All right, let's change the angle of this. <laughs> I do enjoy playing. Yep, that's working. I could have fired this, but I didn't want to. I wanted to play with the lathe. All right, so there is still some, some cleaning up that I have to do by hand, and uh, that is absolutely fine. But now I have, now I have a shape that I'm happy with, and uh, yeah, onwards. Fret files are fantastic. This is uh, one of the older fret end dressing files with safe edges, etc. All right, well that worked out a bit okay, didn't it? Much better. I do very, very much like this gothic jewelry. I haven't quite spent a full 250 minutes messing around with the uh, control knobs, but it feels like I have. Now those are done, it's onto the back plate. It's been stained and has cured, but uh, does need some guitar finishing oil, etc. I need to drill the holes first. I have already marked in pencil where I want to go, and an awl and a drill. Well, with that in, it is time to move on to putting this guitar together. I'm gonna to use the fretboard cleaner and restorative to sort of hydrate the fretboard before we put strings on, uh, install the tuners, install the bridge and the pickups and the stuff and the nonsense and the sss. It's all going on here. Old style Crimson Guitars fretboard restorative. This stuff rules and if you're watching this video as it goes live, it's almost certainly on sale right now. Old style as in it's got an old label. Same formula. After it's cured for a few minutes, rub it all back and you're done. Or I should say sunk in. Onto the tuners. Which do I prefer? That gives you a bit more 
adjustment. And I have access to the screws without taking the saddles off, so that one. I'm experimenting with uh, some Wilkinson pickups. I've heard good things about them. And, uh, well, let's see. I am quite happy, indeed. Ooh, I need to push those uh, saddles are a little bit low. Ah, da -dum -da -dum. Oh, come on, I was gonna say, I'm happy and put the strings on and, and twangle away and we're not. Aha. I remember one day early on in my career, i.e. before I was a guitar builder, and all I could afford was one packet of strings to replace the strings on my guitar. And uh, my bass player and I were putting them on and the bass player snipped on the wrong side of the string. And yeah, bereft. Hmm. Somebody needs to install tring trees. Tring, tring trees? Blee. Somebody needs a coffee and a break. String trees, yo. I mean, I think technically that's a guitar. with the worst nut height I have experienced in a long time. So I need to cut the nut down, obviously. I am actually gonna go and have some coffee now and sort of, let me know what you think in the comments. The action is far too high. I need to bring those saddles down massively. Same with the nut. String trees. I stuck a tuner in his eye. <laughs> I, I'm really, really happy with how this finish has turned out. That sort of faux walnutty, burl kind of a thing is, is, is really doing it for me. I'm very, very happy in general. We're gonna be giving this guitar away in a minute. <laughs>